Today we are going to talk about the functions of the platelets and coagulation system, right? So when we talk about this uh, platelet function and dysfunction and coagulation system, there are few terms which should be very clear in our mind, right? For example, the terms which should be clear, number one, you should know what is meant by platelet plug. Platelet plug, right? Primary platelet plug. What is the concept of what is meant by primary platelet plug? Then you must know what is meant by coagulation. Coagulation. Then what is your concept of platelet, platelet adhesion, adhesion, platelet activation, platelet aggregation. These terms should be very, very clear by the end of the lecture. Platelet aggregations. What is secondary platelet plug? Secondary hemostatic plug, hemostatic plug or secondary platelet plug. What is your concept of clot? What is your concept of thrombus? What is your concept of embolus? Right, so these nine terms should be really clear in your mind. While we are starting with the lectures, right by the end of the lecture, you must know what is primary platelet plug, which is also called primary hemostatic plug. What is coagulation? What is platelet adhesion? What is platelet activation? What is platelet aggregation? What is secondary hemostatic plug? What is meant by clot? What is thrombus? What is embolus? Have you heard of these terms? Have you heard of things like this? You never heard of platelet plug? Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like that we define what is coagulation. Who is going to tell me what is coagulation? Uh, question goes to someone very intelligent. Mm, question goes to you. Yes, please. What is coagulation? Aggregation of Aggregation of platelet according to her. Uh, write it down and put a very big cross. Any other definition of coagulation? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, okay, she has a definition which is of course not true. That aggregation of aggregation of the red blood cell is uh, coagulation. Not. Gavin, we have to depend on your immense amount of knowledge. Uh, is it like a mechanism of maintaining hemostasis? Okay, he tried to confuse me. <laughs> All right. So anyone who is confident enough to know uh, what is coagulation, yes, please. We, because we keep on hearing these terms all the time. Degree of, of adhesion, the um, adhesiveness of a... Oh my God, you, everyone has his own private and personal concepts. Okay. Formation of fibrinol. No, no, no. Fibrin? Yeah, in the end he come up with good things, that's right. <laughs> Look, coagulation process, if the purely coagulation process is a property of plasma. This is the very first concept today for you that coagulation is the property of plasma. plasma. Plasma alone can coagulate. It means coagulation does not require mandatorily platelets, RBCs and WBCs. Coagulation is a process which can occur alone in the plasma as well. Is that right? The true definition of coagulation is coagulation is the process by which by which soluble fibrinogen convert into insoluble fibrin. That's it. Right? So what is coagulation? Coagulation is a cascade of enzymatic reactions at the end of which soluble Soluble, yes, fibrinogen, fibrinogen is a protein which is normally present in your 
blood it is produced by the liver your liver is all the time producing fibrinogen and releasing in your circulation your every drop of blood has some amount of fibrinogen normally fibrinogen is a protein which is soluble in the plasma right but during the process of coagulation soluble fibrinogen is converted into insoluble yes fibrin strands fibrin strands so this is the coagulation process is that right even though platelets help in coagulation process but process of coagulation itself is a property of plasma the plasma alone can can coagulate right it is just a process in which soluble fibrinogen protein is converted into insoluble fibrin strands that's it is it clear so i think uh, i will start the lecture now by a special story that if someone vascular system is injured right how the platelets and coagulation system work right and during all that lecture i will explain all these terms at different stages of the lecture right now all of you know something very important that blood is normally present in your circulatory system in liquid form in your normal circulatory system in a healthy circulatory system right let's suppose this is your circulatory system and in healthy circulatory system you know that blood is circulating in which form liquid form right but there is a very strange property in cardiovascular system what is that strange property that whenever you damage any part of circulatory system for example you injure this part of the circulatory system then within few seconds and minutes from the constituents of the blood from the constituents of the blood a semi solid mass will be formed and that will plug this opening what a beautiful system it is that your cardiovascular system is a closed system of channels right and blood should run in this cardiovascular system in which form liquid form but this is such a wonderful activity that whenever you puncture at any point you don't need to block from outside constituent of the blood convert into semi solid mass and plug that hole is that right it is just like as some japanese car makers they were always dreaming now they are successful that they should make some such tires in which whenever there is puncture automatically puncture point is sealed and now they have made some special type of chemicals they put in the tubes and whenever there is puncture and air rapidly goes out through puncture those chemicals stick on that area and seal it auto sealing of the puncture point they did it now nature did it millions of the years back nature did it millions of the years back that blood is such a wonderful substance that in healthy cardiovascular system it is just a liquid right transporting many many things and doing many functions but as soon as some point in cardiovascular system is significantly injured what will happen that from the constituents of the blood there will be derivation of semi solid mass which will stick over there now it means we have to have two clear concepts number one how in health how in health our blood is kept into liquid form and how at the time of injury from the blood semi solid plug is derived now we have to have two concept number one good doctors should know why and how our blood is kept into liquid form in healthy cardiovascular system because in a, if in a healthy cardiovascular system blood start converting into semi solid masses and clots do you think our our 